Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at Nota Gen, which is a symbolic music generation model, aims to explore the potential of producing high quality classical sheet music. Yes, this is something new and I am very curious to see as how exactly it works. So we are going to install it locally and then we will also produce some of the music sheets. This has been inspired by the success of LLMs. Notagen adopts pre-training, fine-tuning and reinforcement learning paradigms and it has been pre-trained on 1.6 million pieces of music and then fine-tuned on approximately 9000 high-quality classical compositions conditioned on period composer instrumentation prompts. For, for reinforcement learning, they have pro proposed a new method which is called as Clamp DPO, which I will be also showing you shortly. If you look at this diagram, this shows you the data representation. And this data representation is primarily the ABC notation, which is a musical notation system that uses a combination of letters, numbers and symbols to represent musical notes. They have adopted a modified version which is called as interleaved ABC notation as their data representation. In this format, different voices of the same bar are rearranged into a single line and differentiated using voice indicators. They have also removed the bars with full rests. This diagram shows you the model architecture. Here they are using the transformers architecture or as they called as tunes former architecture and bar stream patching it consists of two hierarchical gp2 gpt2 decoders one is patch level decoder and the other one is character level decoder as shown in this diagram each patch is flattened by concatenating one hot character vectors and then pass through a linear layer to obtain the patch embedding the patch level decoders capture the temporal relationships among patches and its final hidden states are passed to the character level decoder which autoregressively predicts the character of the next patch. So fairly simple architecture I would say. And then in this diagram you can see that uh, as I was mentioning, mentioning Erling, earlier about the pre-training, fine-tuning and reinforcement learning. So in the pre-training, which is a step one, the Nota Gen has been pre-trained on 1.6 million pieces of music and this corpus covers a wide range of genres and periods, enabling Nota Gen to capture fundamental musical structures and patterns through next token prediction. Nota Gen is fine-tuned on high-quality classical music sheets to further enhance musicality in generation they have also created a fine-tuning dataset which is comprised of around I would say 9000 classical music sheets and it covers 152 composers from DCML, Corpora to open source string and lot of others which you can check on their model card. Um, and they have labeled all these pieces with three periods, Baroque, Classical and Romantic. So really I think they have covered all the classical stuff there. Finally, to refine both the musicality and the prompt controllability of the fine-tuned Nota Gen, they have presented Clamp DPO. This method builds upon the principles of reinforcement learning from AI feedback or RLAIF and implements DPO. In Clamp DPO, which is a multimodal symbolic music information retrieval model that serves as a evaluator within the DPO framework and that distinguishes between chosen and rejected musical outputs to optimize Notagen. And we have done a lot of videos on DPO. If you're interested, you can search the channel. So this is what this model is. Let's try to get it installed locally and let's produce some musical sheets. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM, which is Ubuntu 22.04 and this GPU card NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you will find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. And as you can see that I already have created the Conda environment. Next up, let me get clone the repo of this project. And now we need to install all the prerequisites. Let's wait for these to get installed. This takes a few minutes. 
let me press y here and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and i will also drop the link to their website in video's description okay let's go back here let's wait for it to get completed when everything is installed next up we need to download the model there are various flavors which they have shared on their hugging face page and i am just going to download this model after getting into the grid you directory because this is where they have asked it to put and this is a link to that notagen x model as you can see here so let me download it and the model has been downloaded and then from the root of the repo from the grid demo i have launched this python 3 demo.py and you can see that it is now running at my local host at port 7861 so let me access it in the browser and you can see that nota gen is now running so this is where you can select that period which i was mentioning baroque classical or romance or instrumentation and then uh, the generation progress is shown here so let me show you so for instance i'm just going to go with romantic and for the composer maybe i'll go with i'll just quickly go through the names let's go with uh, frederick chopin and then for instrumentation maybe we'll go with keyboard and then let me click on generate it is generating there you go this is a progress and it has generated these scores and also it has saved it in the xml file which you can readily access at the moment it is confined to this limited scores but they have said in their github repo that they are going to improve it a lot and then i have changed the art song and then i have gone with hugo wolf and you can see that it has generated few more notes here now i'll acknowledge that i am really ignorant in these classical music and these notes so if you know what exactly this v1 treble chant voice means please also uh, enlighten us but you can see it's not bad at all generating the music notes the classical music notes with ai is something new very early days um, i'm sure there will be a lot of breaking changes but i will keep an eye on it and maybe when it is more mature and it can generate full music notes or maybe even music because they have shared the few of the samples in their project page and you will find the link in video's description let me quickly show you the vram consumption towards the end so this is a vram consumption just i would say 8.7 gig of vram which is not bad at all that's it let me know what do you think about this electric alexis and notagen uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching